Here we are in section 2.6 with the numbers 1 through 9, the answers to those. So here we're trying to solve 4s. We're trying to get s by itself right there. We're going to have to peel off the 2, this uh, at squared that's all multiplied together, and then the 2v. So first of all, I'm going to times by 2t on both sides, times by 2t. And that lets me have 2s minus at squared equals 2tv. Now add at squared to both sides, so I get 2s equals 2tv plus at squared, and divide both sides by 2, and I get s equals 2tv plus at squared all over 2. Now we could move that around just a little bit and have the, uh, the two separate fractions, the tv, where the 2's would cancel, or we could have and then the at squared off to the other side, but we can leave it just like that as well. So number two, r equals ipt. Now if we're trying to get this p by itself, we first got to get it off up here over on the other side. So times both sides by pt, and we get ptr equals i. Now if we're trying to get p by itself, just divide off that tr. So divide both sides by tr, and we get i over tr. There we go. So we have um, number three. We're trying to get R1 by itself, and there's our R1. It's on the bottom, so we've got to take this whole chunk, this whole piece, and times it to both sides so that we get it up by itself there. Um, so we get R2D plus R1D equals LR2. Make sure you're okay with what we did. We times both sides by R2 plus R1. R2 plus R1 it's to get R1 off the bottom. And over here, those just divided. That's why we times it. And here, this distributed in to get the R2D and R1D. Now, we're trying to get R1 by itself. Let's circle him so we can keep a track of what we're doing. Subtract the R2D over to both sides, so we have R1D equals LR2 minus R2D, and then just divide both sides by D, R1 equals LR2 minus R2D all over D. And there we go, so we just took that last equation and divided both sides by D. Number four, uh, here we are trying to find this for s. So we've got it right there. Here's when you can kind of see it, uh, how this works really nicely. We're going to times both sides by 11. So the 11 is going to end up coming up there. Then we're going to add that over and then divide by 9. So if you can see it all in one thing, it's going to give us s equals times by 11. It's going to be 11c add the 5g, all divided by 9. So we'll go through it step by step, but if you can start to see that peeling off, it will it'll be a great asset. So the first thing we're going to do is times both sides by 11. We get 9s minus 5g equals 11c. Then we're going to sub add the 5g to both sides. So 9s equals 11c plus 5g and then divide by 9 and we have our answer. Alright, let's erase that and give us a little bit more working room here. Good. Here we have a translation problem. 84 is 6 more than, that's a plus 6 onto whatever they're going to do, 3 times a number. Oh, let's pick the letter Q to represent number right now. 3 times that number Q. So 6 more than 3 times that number. Subtract 6 from both sides, and we get 78 equals 3q. And then divide both sides by 3, and we get that that number q equals um, 26, I think is what it comes out to be. Our number is 26. Good. A stick that is 438 centimeters long. So let's draw this out. We have a big long stick here, 438 centimeters. It's cut into two pieces. Let's chop it right here. The first piece, this first piece, is 74 bigger than the second. 
So if this is the second piece and this is the first, first equals the second plus 74. Now, how does that 438 come in? Well, the total of the first and the second piece add up to 438. So we can take these two things right here and add them to 438. S plus S plus 74, so that's the second plus the first piece equals 438. Gives us 2S plus 74 equals 438. Subtract 74 from both sides and we get 2s equals. Now if we take 438 divided by 74, we get 364. Divide both sides by 2 and we get the small one is 182. Uh, better put on here centimeters, that's what we're working with. 182 centimeters, and the first one is 74 bigger than that, so we get 256 centimeters. So those are the lengths of the two pieces. Number seven, find the area of the shaded region. Notice we have a rectangle here, 9 by 14. We can find the area of that. 9 times 14 is, yeah, so the area right in here, is 126. Now 126 minus the circle, which is pi r squared. This is going to be a tougher one. Pi times, uh-oh, what's the radius of this thing? Well, if from here all the way down to here, that line is 9 inches, then half of it coming out here has got to be 4.5 inches. So we've got to do pi times 4.5 squared. So pi times, punch that in the calculator and you get 20.25. So you take 126 minus this and it equals for the whole thing, for the area, is 62 point, round to the nearest hundred, 38 and we are in inches, so area is in inches squared. Good deal. Number eight. A rectangle's length is 7 more than 4 times the width, and the perimeter is 194. So if we write this out, it says length is 7 more, oops, 7 more than 4 times the width, and the perimeter. Now, do we remember the formula for perimeter? That's 2L plus 2W. And so we're going to take this length right here and stick it in there. So we actually get 194, that's P, equals 2L, right there, 4W plus 7, plus 2W. So if we solve this out, we get 194 equals 8W plus 14 plus 2W. 194 equals 10W plus 14. Subtract 14 from both sides, and we get 10W equals 180. So that means that the width is 18 millimeters. Now we also need the length because it says what are the dimensions. We're trying to find both the length and the width. So that's the width. And the length is 7 more than 4 times the width. So we have 4 times 18 is 72. And 7 more than that is 79. So this is an 18 by 79 millimeter rectangle. Okay, and number nine, the last one here. Find the missing variable for a rectangle. The perimeter is 48.3 feet, so we can just use this formula as we wrote it up here. 48.3 feet equals 2L, which we don't know, plus 2W, which is 7.2. So 48.3 equals 2L plus 14.4. Subtract 14.4 from both sides, and we get 33.9 equals 2L. Divide both sides by 2, and we get L equals 16.95, and this is in feet. 16.95 feet is L. Okay, there we go. Good.